Corey Robertson is not a human being. He is a superhuman being. Not only does he coach a Cronin team, coach college soccer, find time to get his masters, but he excels at everything. There's not one aspect of his life, big or small, that he does not take pride in and make sure that it's done to the best of his ability. Corey started with Cronum in the very beginning. So he's been here through every evolution of the game, through every moment of the game he's been involved in. What he's done on the field and off the field and to get athletes better at this game, can't speak enough about it. He's a true urban legend within the game of Cronum and within life. There's a great book called The Outliers, and it talks about to be a prof professional in something, you need 10,000 hours of work. That's what I was thinking about the other day when you were talking about, I just like to get out there and play like three games, and I've gotten better because of the, you know being out there for three games, and I'm like, dude, you have something that everyone else doesn't have an opportunity to do. You're always out there for three or four hours, you get to play in three or four games, you're getting your 10,000 hours a lot closer than anyone else's. Comparing two positions of a, a goalkeeper in soccer and a wedge back in Cronum, they're very similar in the sense that you know you're back there to stop the ball from going in the net. But the positive with Cronum is you also get to score. Footwork is key in a wedge back position because not only are you taking kicks off the feet, but you're also you yourself throwing and attacking players. So it's very difficult to read a throw compared to a kick coming from soccer to Cronum. Corey's style is really intense, it's, it's fierce. Corey Robertson is different from other wedge backs in the fact that he attacks the shooter rather than the shooter attacking him. You're gonna see Corey charge out of the net, take off the angle, and really throw his body parts all over the place with them flashy gloves, and really disrupt the shooter's line of vision and ultimately his shot. When we were uh, actually first started and we had the first team out there and we won the first year of the Captain's Cup, we had Rob Tuttle as our captain and I really looked up to Rob, you know, his motivation and his ability to get out there and play almost every position that he was needing to play. Sometimes he had a jump in as a wedge back, sometimes he was a ranger, but he led the team and you know, I really looked up to him that first year to be like, you know, this is what is expected of a Cronum player. Not just a team captain or a coach, but this is kind of the level that we want to be at. Whenever the team's down, he's the first one to say something. When they're doing good, he's the first one to walk over to his players and praise them. Even after a loss, guys might have their heads down, he'll go off to every single one of the people and he'll actually try to offer some words of encouragement to get them back going. It's because of his leadership that they're actually able to take it to the next level. Every time out, every intermission, he's always giving me pointers and looking for the cues and, and what to follow for guys to make some of these saves. My coaching experience at Drexel has taught me a lot of how to be really patient with players and how to take yourself outside of the game at times. So don't get so caught up in being the player in the moment because with Cronum, I'm also a player and a coach so getting caught up in that moment can really throw us under the bus or not allow us to be the best that we can be. I love his demeanor and his leadership and his confidence in that. He's a true warrior out there and the way he plays wedge every wedge back can look up to him because he's in your face, he's intense and he wants to win the game. It's a competitive league and a lot of guys get ahead of themselves. It's fast paced, there's a lot of action and guys can really lose track of what we've decided as a team is our strategy or what we're trying to accomplish and when guys get away from that, Corey's very good at calming people down, getting them focused again and really delivering constructive criticism and not just yelling at guys. People get heated out there and and Corey's very good at just keeping everybody calm and getting everybody back in focus. The urban legends have grown definitely over the past three years. We started out with a lot of guys from the city and a lot of guys with foot skill background, but I think we've added a new chemistry to it in that we can score. We're not just only a defensive team, we can also put up the numbers to score. For the people in the city, you know, growing up in this urban landscape, they have to find a way to play. They have to find a way to use their environment, whether it be sports or just entertainment. So I think that kind of brings true to the way the urban legends play, is that we find a way to win, whether that's on the ground or in the air, there's a way to win. The clip where Regensburg almost mocks you. You walk out, you, you, 
you open your arms, you're, you're trademark. And one of the best scorers in Cronin being Jeff Regensburg kind of mocks you yeah. and does it right back to you. I was calling the game, probably yeah. one of my favorite moments of the season. So walk us through le- leading up to this play. The game was on the line, you stopped the ball, the game's over. Uh, what was going through your head? And uh, what does that represent? What does the arm spread represent? It starts back when I was uh, a kid playing soccer, um, playing goalkeeper for them. I actually uh, learned that from another goalkeeper of being it big creates a object and it makes it look like the goal is smaller for the player shooting. So putting your hands out there before they take the shot makes the goal look smaller and makes me look bigger. So it's kind of just something that kind of formed into now with Cronin being able to walk up a bit and walk back. I think that just adds a little bit more to the, the swagger that the urban legends have and we're able to show people that, you know, we're defense and I'm going to be the leader of the defense right now. I'm going to put the team on my back. I'm going to show you that we're going to be able to stop this. And um, when Regensburg, you know, threw his arms up there like that, I instantly knew I was going to save it. It just clicked in my head that it was time to save that ball. You don't need a rebound. There's no rebound. Just slap it away. Get it out of that net. Look at this. Regensburg and Robertson staring each other down. This is for the game, I believe, ladies and gentlemen. Regensburg approaches. Whips top left. Wow, Big save, it. legend. That is it. Unbelievable. I think that game sparked our team a lot. It also could have sent us down, I feel like, a lot too. So being able to come out and win that game, I think things like that click for teams. And it's not necessarily that you were playing great, but something clicked for you and you won the game. That just propels you to be better for the next game and have a little more confidence in yourself and what you're doing as a team. So whether that was us playing great or it just so happened to click well, I think that really helped turn around our season in the second half. Three years ago when Bill came to this location and in this room right now, he talked about an idea that he had. There's no doubt in my mind that the sport was gonna grow and it was gonna be a great sport, but the timetable in which he expected Cronin to grow has surpassed right now beyond you know what our goals were. And with the internet and making Cronin so viral, it really helped grow the sport. I mean, social media picked it up instantly and we have fans from all over the country, all over the world now following Cronin. Every state, there's somebody paying attention to Cronin. And it's just been excellent to see everybody following it, a core group of people online being able to follow the sport, watch the games, vote for plays, vote for all-stars. And now that not only that the viral picked up, but our K Rec League has picked up. The amount of people that we have wanting to play Cronin, being in our rec leagues, it's just grown beyond what I ever thought Cronin could be.